Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Timesheet Portal in ServiceNow. That's right. Who loves and love, who doesn't love logging their time in an application, right? I'm going to show you how easy it is. If you've seen other videos of mine or you're familiar with ServiceNow, there is platform-wide the ability to track the amount of time that you spend on a task. In this case, I've got an incident up. You can see the clock is kind of running there, 48, 49, 50 seconds. Um, I can stop that clock when I'm on these forms and I can start it. So it starts up, I can override it and kind of put in maybe an hour. And whenever I save this, it creates a time worked entry on the time work table. So we're associating time that's actually worked with an actual task. So you see here, there's my one hour, one minute for Able Tutor. Uh, as he's logged into this task or this incident. So you can do this for any task in service now. It doesn't have to be an incident, doesn't have to be ITSM, it could be any application within the platform that's based off the task table. Now the timesheet portal is where you can go in and look at the actual tasks and your time cards that um, it has full capability to be submitted and stuff like that. So I drew an arrow so you could see that timesheet portal link right there where we can actually access the timesheet portal. And this is what it looks like. So let me give you a tour. On the left hand side, you have the things that you can add to your time card. So these are tasks that are assigned to Able Tutor. If he goes to the group task, these are tasks that are assigned to his group, right? So he can quickly find something. And then he's also able to add other tasks. So you see things here like meeting time, keep the lights on time, training time, other stuff that you might want to include on your time card. So really, really helpful there. Let's just add this technical risk assessment to the timesheet. That puts a row here in the middle. And now Abel can come in and say, on this particular day, I logged or I spent um, two hours on this technical risk assessment and then I spent another hour on it on Wednesday. And now that time is logged. So I'll highlight a couple of things that just happened. Number one, it started building up these totals here at the top for that particular week, right? So we might have other tasks he might add. So let's do that. Let's add another task for let's say meeting time. He had to go meet with somebody about this particular uh, assessment. So there it is, there's the meeting time. And then let's say he on Tuesday between Monday and uh, Wednesday, he went and met with somebody and that's why he spent some time putting some stuff back on there. And then maybe um, he also had some other meetings that would, took him four hours and that then totals up to a total of five hours for Wednesday uh, within the timesheet portal. So that's the basic structure and the basic use case for timesheets in ServiceNow. You may be wondering, well, what if the task isn't assigned to Abel and what if it's not assigned to his group? Can I put something else on the timesheet? And the answer is yes, you can. If you look above my head in tiny, tiny print, add unassigned tasks to timesheet. It's discouraged because if he's spending time on something, he should have that task assigned to him. So that's why it's kind of hidden and small and everything. But we can search for a task and we can search for the task number or the short description. I'm just going to type in people. I think there's a people soft stuff. Nope, let's just try people like this. And um, if that doesn't find it, yeah, there we got some incidents, we got some changes. Okay, change is a great example. So let's pull in this change, maybe he helped out a colleague, and he's going to add that change to his timesheet. So once again, I want you to watch this Tuesday here. It's right, right now it's one hour, but let's go say that he spent two hours helping a colleague out with that change, and once that added to his timesheet. So it totaled up there to that three hours. All that's good to go. And at the end, he can come in here and he can submit this timesheet and that can have an approval process that goes along with it. So maybe we want someone to approve his time card and make sure just like you would in any timekeeping system, have someone reviewing and validating that. Now ServiceNow is not a system of record, so we can take these time recordings, we can ship them off to a ERP system or a time tracking system. Um, integrations are easy with ServiceNow if you know what you're doing. So um, Let's collect the time from people right where they're working in service now, and then we can do what we want with it, process those approvals, and send it off to timekeeping systems or systems of record if we need to. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in tracking their time. And until next time, don't forget, always be learning.